travel season that many of us have booked that trip to somewhere maybe europe or africa or wherever you want to travel to this video is for you to help every fashion villain know the essential things they need to pack for travel but that's the purpose of this video fashion travel and lifestyle and i do believe you look good for your best so you can see we're talking about this fashion girl travel essential that will help you get that instagram pictures that will help you take good care of yourself that will make you look chic whenever you're strolling down the street or you are going for hiking it just gives you this fashion girl travel pack is uh, very essential for you it makes you look chic every time you step out so that's the purpose of all this packing or travel fashion girl packing list is a tote and bag a tote and bag is a necessity for every lady because we know we like to pack a lot and if you're not such that carry a lot of travel bags or a lot of luggages and even if you do you still need a tote and the bag to fit in your essentials things that you can easily reach out for so i'll be using for the purpose of this video this bag from if pop it's a very nice travel size and bag it's also perfect for work i use it mostly for work but i also can use it for travel can see how massive it is a very nice cute bag and it's sustainable bag so this is kind of biodegradable because it's for my plants so this is a very nice handbag to have for your travel you can fit in all your essential your passports your vaccination cards anything you essentially can easily reach out for your travel documents your insurance document all that you need to fit it into your tote and bag so a tote bag is a necessity for every fashion girl so in as much as you're carrying tote and bag for the practicality that comes with it and that i can fit in a lot you still need a tote and bag to give give us that look that chic look that will make you look elevated make you look like you have your life together anyway so this tote and bag is a very perfect essential for you to pack so you need a cute tote and bag to fit your essential and also give the look for your airport travels also you can use your tote and bag if you are moving from one place to another if it's just a short vacation you need a tote and bag so if it's a trip that you just take a few days tote and bag can fit in as much as far as a life set tote and bag another nice tote and bag you can use is a long chum tote and bag i have one like that i will insert a picture of a long chum tote and bag it's a very cute bag that can fit in your essential you'll be giving fashion as well as giving packing your bag for practicality so it will tell bag is a necessity for every fashion girl to pack for travel. every fashion girl is scarves so you can see i already have my scarf on my head to just give me this very relaxed look since i'm currently at home not going anywhere but really you need scarves to elevate your look so if you've not been, if you've been on my channel for a while you will, you will not know that you can use scarf but not just for tying your hair you can wear it as a blouse you can style it with differences you can wear it on your back so i have for the purpose of this video a scarf this particular scarf so you can just tie it on your tote bag for a very chic look so this is a very regular brown tote bag so you can just have a scarf to it for an elevated chic look everybody can just do something simple like this and you have an elevated chic look for your tote bag you can twirl it around your bag or you can use it as a twirling you can wear it on your neck so there are different ways you can use scarf so if you have this scarf and you do not maybe pack enough jewelry you can use scarf to open it as your jewelry to elevate your look so scarf is a necessity for you you can even wear scarf on your shoulder so most people if you have a large enough scarf you wear it on your shoulder and add it to your look so you can see it can give you a very elevated chip so if the scarf was bigger i could use it to cover my shoulders and it would be like something like this and i'll tie it in front with my look and that's a very useful way to introduce scarf into your look and sometimes when you go to a colder region and you want to cover your chest because that is most times when you are in a cold region the cold comes into your chest so you can wear a scarf simple scarf on your neck so something like this then you tie it like a tie then you wear it like this so like when you're trying to imitate the men the more regular men tie so you tie it like this to cover your chest and you can cover as much as possible so a scarf is a necessity for your travel so don't just see scarf as one basic thing you tie on where you can do a whole lot with scarf and if you have a very very large silk scarf you can even use it as a sarong for your bikini so we're going to talk about bikini as an essential but when you have a very nice scarf you can just you can use it as a top you can wear it as um, a scarf for your hair you can also use it as a sarong to cover yourself and give, give you that modesty when you're at the beach or at the poolside so scarf is a necessity for every fashion girl to pack, to pack for travel 
it's a pair of, it's a pair of sunglasses so i'm not really a sunglasses girl i'm just getting dipping my toe into sunglasses so yeah i have this leve dupe sunglasses that i bought recently it is a very cute dupe for leve so this is a very cute nice sunglasses to have and if possible you should get sunglasses that will actually protect you from the rays of the sun most sunglasses that are very cheap don't really do the job of protecting you from the sun most of them are just basic fashion sunglasses but so if you really want to protect yourself from the sun make sure you check for sunglasses that are that can give you that UV protection that can help protect your eyes from the sun and all that so this is a very nice sunglass this one basically i bought it for the looks because this is not a real Loewe sunglasses so it's just basically for the look so i wear this and i still feel like i need to get something different because i just got this for my to introduce myself to the sunglasses gradually and this one i'm not really into it because it's so big for my face but if you guys think i should still rock this Comment down below let me know what you guys think but these sunglasses sunglasses are necessary for you to travel they will give you that elevator cheap look like you're going for the you no know, to make your look look like you have it all together you need sunglasses you can go for clear sunglasses i have something similar or your prescription glasses you can pack it along because when you're going to be chilling at the beach watching youtube videos and you need your glasses to protect you from sun rays or from lights you get your sunglasses or your shades together so this one is a necessity i packed it on my recent trip and i do love it it's a very cute sunglasses to have but i'm thinking of getting something different because this is not really my vibe but when you're trying to get sunglasses ensure that it has great um option for UV protection ensure that it fits your face frame but if for me i can't really advise you when it comes to sunglasses or what to go but all i can say is that just check that it fits your frame and something that meets with your personal style before you get it because if not the sunglasses will be sitting somewhere but it's a necessary must have for your travel for every fashion girl is swimsuit or swimwear so you can go with bikini sets if you want to show off your banging summer body or you could go for a tankily a bikini set with big pants bottom that can cover enough of your butt cheek then you now wear um a bikini to a brown top so for me i don't mind the bikini because typically when i wear bikinis i wear shorts alongside so i just wear the short but i will not button it or i won't button it because i know i'm at the beach or at the pool though that's my own personal style but for you you can wear your bikini set and have a scarf for so you can see where scarf and bikini work together this is a very large scarf and i just tie it at the side as your salon to give you that very chic elevated uh, look and also to give you that modesty so if you don't want to just have all your butt cheek out or if you feel that bikini that you're wearing is going to show too much you just just cut for it so but if you don't want to wear bikinis because that's for people that have that don't mind they don't have any insecurity for their body but if you're such they want to cover up your body you can go for normal tankinis you can go for normal onesies so something like um how would i put it something i will insert the picture for you to see what i'm talking about so like a one piece swimsuit so as we also cover as much as possible then you can wear that i have something similar i got from zappo i will insert a picture for you guys to see so zappo are very body friendly swimwear that you can pack for travel very cute ones and they are budget friendly and they can last you for as long as possible i have two from zappo that i'm still using till now but my favorite is the one piece and i can also wear that one piece bikini um, that one piece swimwear i can wear it as a normal regular top i've worn it as a regular top to the beach so you can wear it as a top you can wear it normally for the beach but i need to swim it depends on the vibe you are going for and this time when you get something like a nice one piece swimsuit you can wear it as with your top and for going out for casual outing and to give you a very cute look so it's good to pack such for travel because you may just switch it from beach to casual out and it looks so essential that you need to pack for travel and want to dress it we need all this flowing gown we need something that is just easy to throw on and go we don't want to waste them trying to figure out meeting and matching top and bottom together so you just go for magazine dresses magazine dresses are no brainer options if you're going to be traveling because it's just easy to throw on you can wear it for casual out you can wear it for for strolling you can wear it if you have a very chic elevated magic dress you can wear it for dinner you can wear it to eat in a restaurant you can use it for sightseeing you can use it to go and check out all the vacation spots you have on your itinerary very very simple thing to just 
drawn and grow. That's why I love maxi dresses. I'm currently wearing a maxi dress and I love this one for me. I actually like this maxi dress, but the only issues I have with maxi dresses when I travel, especially when the region I'm going to is cold, I like to pack like a cardigan so I'll cover my shoulders and also protect me from cold. But normally, this is a very nice summer maxi dress you can just throw on and go they're very cute option of maxi dresses this this particular one that's trending that all the girlies and their mama already have is this drop waist maxi skirt uh, maxi dress which i'm going to insert the picture where you guys see it's a very nice option of maxi dress that is very good for travel you can wear it for wine tasting you can wear it to go for dinner you can wear it to go out you can even wear it for a as a wedding guest outfit you can wear it to a, a picnic it's a very nice simple dress that you can just elevate or you can just dress it up and dress it down it depends on what you want to do with your dress i will just insert a picture for you guys to see what i'm talking about that kind of dress something you can pair with a pair of sneakers for a casual fit and you can pair with a pair of heels for a dinner date or a cocktail party without even stressing about it all you just need the jewelry and that's it so this maxi dress option is very cool and this kind of maxi dresses that you can just wear at home Sometimes if you have this kind of dress, you can use it for to sleep. It depends on what your vibe is for when it comes to my dresses. I wear this as my normal, typical house dress. And you can depends on you. And I also can pack this for travel. So magic dresses are a must after working for every fashion girl. So if you want to elevate your look for your travel, get some magic dresses. I, I love to pack for travel. And I think every lady needs that in their snow when they're traveling. Because short is something you can just easily wear. It's a relaxed fit uh, outfit to have. In my last trip, I wore a pair of shorts, which is a linen short, which I really, really like. It, I also have the linen pants for that, but I prefer this linen short. It's very easy to throw on and go. You can wear it with bodysuit, I can wear it with t-shirts. I can just style it up and style it down. It depends on what you want. You can wear it with a pair of heels and the bodysuit and you're ready to go for dinner. <laughs> if, you, if that's your vibe, you can go with brunch. For brunch with your with your girlies when you're wearing a uh, short so a pair of shorts is something that is very very necessary for travel and like i said whenever i go to the beach and i love bikinis i prefer them to one piece outfit though both i don't mind both of them i can do bikini or one size but i wear my shorts with my bikini pants or also wear it with my one piece swimsuit so in this way you are not really opening up all your body or exposing so your pair of shorts can help you to cover your modesty at the beach and you can also wear this pair of shorts when you're sightseeing you can wear it for travel depends on what you want but it's a necessary necessary thing that every fashion girl you need to pack for travel that you need to have when you're traveling is hats so for me i love hats aside scarves which i can just wear for different different wear different different which i also love hats this is a very cute hat i got from everything five pounds and I've been loving this art. It is more like a raffia style of like a woven art, but it's not really from raffia. And you can see the fact that it has a two-tone color, which means that I can actually style it with anything that goes well with yellow or goes well with the black. And we know black is a neutral color that goes with everything. So it's a very nice, cute art. Let me wait for you on top of this for you guys. It's a very cute art to have. It is not really a cow cowgirl ass neither is it really a fedora ass. so it's just something that it just relax gives you vacation vibes it's a very nice art to have so if you can get your hands on something relaxed like this it's cool but there are different variations of hats you can go for you can go for large art i have a massive hat that i featured in my statement um pieces to have in your closet and that art i used it for my recent trip it's you can use it to cover your hair from the sun or something as cool as this you can wear this for protection from the sun rays and it's very very cool to give you that nice feel you want and it's a That's nice having a stranger for every fashion girl it's a comfortable loungewear so for me loungewear can be a leggings and a t-shirt or maybe a two-piece outfit that same color if it's possible if it is woolly or cashmere or something very relaxed and cool on the body or maybe a hoodie and a sweatpants. It depends on what you want, but you need a comfortable loungewear. Something you can just lounge with at home. And you can also go for dresses like this as a simple loungewear. So you just need something that you can lounge because every time you go on your trip, it's not every time on your trip that you really want to go out. Sometimes you just want to be in your hotel, relaxing. You just want to be watching the environment. You just want to take in the environment sometimes. And you can just wear this loungewear outfit to just stroll by your hotel or stroll to the market and all that so you need loungewear if you can get your hands on comfortable loungewear please do because it's a must have for every travel girl for me i highly recommend two-piece loungewear because you can just 
switch them. So if it's a two-piece set, you can just wear them together or wear them with other pieces in your quilted. So in this way, you'll be able to do this three, three, three method I talked about in my video of what I packed for my trip. That three, three, three method makes you able to create as much look as possible with fewer outfits. So you don't need to pack a whole lot and just in case pieces into a quilted. So Yes, you need loungewear, something to lounge in, and something you can just easily transition from normal loungewear to normal casual outfit. So you just need to be able to blend them together so you pack light and also serve the looks. So this is a necessity for every fashion girl. Always game. emphasize on accessories because every fashion girl needs accessories in her ass now. Just this normal bracelet is already giving me what I wanted to give. Then pairing it with this bit on my neck, which I recently got, I'm going to feature it in my new in all. Very very nice accessory to pack up when you're traveling. But for me, I would say you know I wouldn't recommend to pack big, chunky <laughs> accessories when you're traveling. But if you have a very fine, fine jewelry necklace, you can pack at least two or three. Then you need bracelets, something as small as this. Or you can go for cuffs. It depends on what you want. But you need jewelry to be able to accessorize your look. You don't want to just wear a dress and just go out like that without jewelry. Normally, every lady knows that they need jewelry, and the major jewelry every lady searches for is earring. And worst case scenario, wristwatch. But you need bracelets. You need rings if possible. You need um nice necklaces. You just need as much as possible. And if you saw, it doesn't mind an anklet. It's a very nice. Jewelry to have. I used to wear anklets and I'm still going to wear it soon. I will do this to my video, but these things help you to set the looks and elevate your looks. So, anklets on a pair of heels and your nice dinner dress, like the drop waist dress I talk about, with anklets and a pair of pumps or heels or block heels, is going to serve great look. It's going to make people want to ask you, Where do you get that? So, you need jewelry to accessorize your look. It's a necessity to always elevate your look, whether you are traveling, whether you're going to work, whether you are. Going for a casual outing, ensure that you just elevate your look with your jewelry because it's a must have, especially for travel and also in your places. Please get on. You can't talk about travel without talking about a durable, comfortable, if possible, stretchy pair of denim and jeans. So, jeans is a necessity for travel. For me, I love to at least have at least one, maximum two, because I need jeans because jeans are very, very good. You can wear. As often as possible without having to wash it we're not really saying we are dirty over here but at least this is something that's durable and it gets stained easily and you can go for dark wash denim if that's what you prefer but me i prefer bluish denim or something that is i have a white pair of denims but the issue with whites <laughs> is because when it gets stained that's it it's over and i'm still looking for a way to get another white because i love anything white but anyway that one is gone because denim got stained with something which I, I don't know what it is and I've not been able to take it out of it. But you need denim in for travel when you're packing at least one because you need it for travel. You can wear it when you're traveling so and also back from your trip. You can wear it when you're strolling. You can wear it when you're sightseeing. You can wear it for hiking in the bush because most times or when you go chasing the waterfall, you need a pair of denim just to cover your leg from all the insects around and also you can get insect sprays or anything you need to save yourself from, from insect but you need denim to cover your especially for chasing waterfalls for hiking for sightseeing for going to the amusement park it's a very nice easy thing to throw on get yourself enough bodysuits or some basic tank top wear it over it hard cardigan if the place is cool or if you just wear normal t-shirt if the place is kind of warm and you wear that and you're, you're just off then you get belts to just elevate the look because belt actually will give you proportions it will, it will give you the illusion of if you go ahead body no matter the type of body you have so i'm going to talk about belt later in the video but you need a durable jean something comfortable something stretchy i actually prefer skinny jeans but if you watch my uh, trend video talking about what's out of style and what's in Denims now are now relaxed fit denim. Everybody's talking about comfort and all that, but I stand skinny jeans and I'm still going to wear it. So if you want, you can go for the relaxed fit denim or you can go for skinny jeans like we. Now we don't want to move from Very there. Very that we pack for travel. If you're not going for a friend's wedding or you're not going for a graduation ceremony or you're not traveling for your own personal uh, graduation or you're not going to be proposed to, in your travel just forget about packing is because it's not necessary it's something you don't really need to pack for travel but what every fashion girl you need to pack for travel is a pair of flats 
which could be this MS you put out inside the picture for you. It's a very nice, comfy flat, and everybody and their mama has it. Or you can go for a pair of sneakers. It's a very nice, cheap thing to have. Sneakers that you, you can go for sneakers that are black color or navy, or sometimes white and red. Anything that just that makes you happy, just go for a pair of sneakers in a pair of flats or even sandals these are things you're supposed to you need to pack for your travel they will help you elevate your look and also give you that comfort because when you're traveling or you're going on vacation the whole essence is to relax yourself enjoy something different be, um, enjoy the culture of the people go trying to observe the environment you don't want to be wearing heels and struggling to stroll it's not necessary so that's the reason why you need a comf comfortable or flat comf comfortable comfortable pair of flat shoes sorry i can't even talk so comfortable pair of flat shoes is a necessity for you so you need one at least one but in my last trip i packed two a pair of sandals and a pair of sneakers because those two are no brainer things that can go with all that i've packed for my look so sneakers can go with a magic dress can go with your midi length dress can go with your mini dress then you can also wear sneakers with a pair of denim you can wear it with your shorts and if you don't like that you can go with a pair of sandals for your looks and it will eat down even the same drop waist uh, dress i talked about can go somewhere with a pair of sandals so it depends on how you're able to mix and match the species so you need flats flats in every type of form for your travel because you don't want something that will make you uncomfortable you don't want something that will stress you out and if you have to pack a pair of heels that means you're planning to go to a restaurant that you know you don't want to just look like casual that you just want to dress up for it or you're going to be proposed to and you know you can feel it <laughs> you can feel it in your bodily bone anyway if you can feel it that you're going to be proposed to you can pack a pair of heels for your travel or if you know you're going for a graduation or your friend's wedding and you want to look good for a wedding you can pack that but besides that you don't need a pair of heels for your travel not the least to me it's even the most important to have a travel essential for every fashion girl it's a it's a belt you need belts in every way from this is a leve du belt which i got it's more like a peplum belt that everybody and their mama had one time before and to me i wish i had bought this in black because this red is not it's not, it's not giving me the vibe i wanted to give but for the purpose of this video, I'm using this belt to talk about it. So these belts, belts are a necessity for every fashion girl when they travel. This can go so well with this dress I'm wearing to just give me that peplum look and also to cinch in my waist, which sometimes when I tell people I want to cinch my waist, I wonder what I'm cinching. But anyway, so this belt is very, very nice. You pack yourself normal, regular, but you can get belts for all your trousers that you're wearing or your denim or that have belt holes add belt to it because it actually will elevate that look so you can go for normal belt for dresses so if you're going to be styling up any dress please style it with a belt but we know that some type of outfit that's where it cuts off on you doesn't it draw but if the way the way this made the dress such that it's um divided between your waist and your leg downwards it, it needs a belt to just give you that structure that elevated look for you to look cheap and put together so you need a belt as a travel girl or a fashion girl that is traveling so to just help you look put together you can style your belt and match it with your sandals or sneakers and also match it with your hats or scarves just to give it that uniform cohesive look so belts is a very necessary essential for every lady you can not match your belt with your bag it depends on what vibe you're going for so every every fashion girl needs to pack a belt in their closet while traveling because it's a necessity so most people would like white belts but really if you still know what belt can actually do for every of you you would not put it at the back corner you put it in front you pack it first for all that and so you can always pack belts whenever you're traveling because it's necessary for every fashion girl essentials do you want do you want normally pack when you're traveling which of them do you think you will start adding to your packing list when you're traveling so you just write belts take check you add ads check which of them are you interested in to pack for travel which of them do you think i should have added to this list but i did not add but this is more like a fashion girly packing list so i'm not talking about other things except for fashion girly and we you know Every lady needs their makeup and all that. And I'm not really a big fan of makeup, but anywho. So all these fashion girl packing lists, which one do you think is the most essential? Which one do you think you can pass? I don't need it now. 
But if <laughs> which one is it that you know that yes, if it's not there, you will feel like something is missing in your looks. So if you love this video, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel till another time. Bye guys. I'll be the last one left when the lights go.